Hey guys, V here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your very own custom app controlled LED tube lights. Now these are fully addressable. You can actually control them using the app. Like I said, you can do solid colors as well, even though the colors are sometimes off. But regardless, they are app controlled. And um, basically, these are the best tube lights you can build for a great price. I'll have all the materials I use down in the description with links or if there are no links then I'll just kind of I guess list them or where I bought them and stuff like that. But as the title says these are by far the best ones that I've seen anybody build at least in my opinion. I kind of uh, decided to build these to use in my videos as background lighting and I built two of them to make a V. <laughs> so anyways, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get right into this build. I'm going to show you all of the parts and everything. So let's go. All right. So now I'm going to show you all of the things you're going to need to make these tube lights. So this is just a standard T12 uh, tube light guard. You can get these at Home Depot. Um, that's where I got this one comes with these little uh, end caps that just slide in just like that and it's actually perfect for the next thing which is a dowel so basically you're gonna need this half inch by 48 inch dowel uh, and we're gonna wrap the LEDs around this now this is optional you can actually put just one layer of LED strip along the um, along the tube so you don't necessarily need to wrap it like this but if you want this effect where it's light all the way around then you're gonna need to wrap the LEDs now also keep in mind these LEDs they recommend you don't tightly wrap them like this so we're kinda doing the whole opposite so do this at your own risk now of course you're gonna need LEDs you can pick any LEDs that you want these are by far uh, the best ones they're the Corjo dream color LED strips I got uh, 32 feet I believe it was and basically it just comes in two wraps like this which is just enough for us to make two lights and then the kit actually comes with a power supply and the Bluetooth controller and a splitter so I bought an extra Bluetooth controller and an extra uh, power supply because I want to be able to independently run these, uh, possibly doing different colors, or I can run them off of this and with one power supply. So that's an option too, but that's what I did. Now for this project, if you've ever watched a video like this, a lot of people tell you to paint them. So I'm not going to be painting them. You can do the painting I actually did this one with paint and it came out okay until you put lights inside of it and then you can tell how botchy it is and how ugly so I would rather uh, wrap it now I will admit wrapping it isn't perfect either um, you get air bubbles and stuff like that but you can't see them especially if you're using them in photos and stuff like that so because of that, we're going to use this Oracle 651, uh, and this is matte white. You can do glossy. Um, actually, I have one that I did glossy, and it looks fine. Just too much reflection for me. So I'm going to avoid the gloss. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the 651 matte white, and then Oracle 651 matte black for the end pieces. Um, so basically just like that and the reason we need that is just to make it look a little more uniform on both ends and also this strip will not cover the full length of the 48 inches so we got to cover a little bit on both sides it's about it's roughly two inches or so the other thing you're gonna need which is kind of optional if you're going with the wrap if you're painting I do recommend this but if you're doing the wrap it's it's up to you uh, you're just going to need 400 grit sandpaper, which I have right here. And of course, you're going to need some kind of a knife, a little X-Acto knife or something to cut 
your materials. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I'm going to show you step by step how to get this done. And the first step is to go ahead and sand it. So what we're going to do is just wrap it around just like this and twist and turn. And you get the gist of that. So there you can see how clear that is. And then there you can see. And this will also help give it another layer of diffusion. So that's why I recommend doing it uh, for wrapping or for painting. But for painting, I highly recommend doing this. So there you go. Uh, basically, just keep doing that until it's all pretty uniform. Just, oh, and I almost forgot. You're also going to need some alcohol to clean. All right, there we go. I sanded the whole thing down from top to bottom, and now we're ready to clean this up. I guess you're also going to need some napkins, which I forgot. <laughs> Alright, so I got some napkins, and get a bit of alcohol, that's good. And then, basically, just wipe it all down really, really well, and this, this step is especially important if you're planning on painting them. So keep this in mind if you're going to be painting them. That step is very crucial, those steps. If you're wrapping them, less crucial, but I still recommend it. Okay, so now we did that and uh, now we're going to go ahead and get ready to cut this. So take your vinyl and uh, get it as long as you need it so we don't need the whole four feet of tubing mostly because um, we got the end caps on both sides and we're gonna cover some of it with a, a black vinyl so I'm just gonna cut almost four foot and try to get this as straight as possible you can use a ruler or something There we go. That's cut. Now you're going to go ahead and get ready to wrap this. So the key to this is have a very, very, very clean surface, first of all. So free of dust, free of any type of debris. Make sure the table is flat and I'm going to go ahead and clean that table and everything. Make sure can't stress this enough because I already screwed up once. If you don't clean it, this vinyl might get some crumbs and stuff like that. And when you wrap it, you won't be able to notice it with the lights off. But once you turn on the lights, all those little specks will be visible. So keep that in mind. Can't stress that enough. So you're going to line up the tube exactly where it needs to go. Line it up pretty, pretty equally as well. And just put a little bit of pressure. Let's see. And start rolling. Good. Just like that. So it's all wrapped up. And we got a couple little little wrinkles here. It's no big deal. Just try to get them out. But even if they don't get out, these are the ends. So it's not a huge deal. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and get started on this on these LEDs. So Get them out of their casing. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the dowel. So here's the dowel and I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one so I can show you 
exactly what we're going to be doing. Here you can see the end. You see how much space there is for these wires. So I kind of uh, curled them around and then I taped them down just like this. And um, basically on this side, I got about the same amount of space roughly. That just That's just kind of how it happened. I didn't plan that. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and basically try to match this one. So I'm gonna keep this one handy right here. And uh, basically I'm gonna go ahead and try to match that. So I'm gonna put them side by side and I'm gonna try to match these best that I can. So roughly it's gonna start right there. So I got some tape. And basically, I'm just gonna wrap these, wrap this up, just so it stays in place while I do the rest. And basically, I'm just gonna wrap this just like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and tape this to itself. Bam, just like that. And then this one, basically going to do the same thing, as you can see there. And there we go. So now there's enough room for this dowel to um, be put inside of the tube using this. Basically like that, and that'll be it, and then it goes inside. So, so now, just go ahead and start peeling back this sticky tape and start wrapping this up this might take a while just do your absolute best if you're gonna do it this way Alright, so now take your LEDs and figure out which side you want the top to be. Just pick the prettier side and get that put in there. Again, be careful. So if you got the same tubes that I did, you'll get little end caps like this. And I know this one broke. That shouldn't be missing. It should kind of look like that. So basically what you wanna do is make it look like this. So you take a knife and be very careful and just go straight down. So follow that line straight down. Do the other one, boom, just like that. And then we're gonna to wanna to cut this off. And it's okay if it's not perfect. I mean, you can make it perfect if you want, but I'm okay with that. And then basically what you wanna do is get that dowel in here, just like that. And just push it all the way towards the bottom like that. And get this put in here just like that and now obviously this side is touching this side so what you want to do is you want to find the seam for because it will overlap about this much if you use 12 inch vinyl like i did so it will overlap and you want to put the back side right in the center of that overlap just like that hopefully you can see that but here's my overlap right there and basically that's in the center. So now this whole end right here and I'm gonna get the other one and this one's gonna be just like that as well. And so that way this will be really nice. So again, just take your other one, the bottom, do the same thing, but this time with it unplugged, get your cable through here, just like that. And then to get it in here, you might want to 
hold the dowel on the other side so it doesn't pop through the other side and just get the dowel in there slide it down good to go but one thing I just made a mistake on you don't want the cable on this side you want it on the opposite side um, so I'm gonna pop this back out but basically the reason for that is because when you push it down you want the dowel sitting as close to the bottom as I mentioned earlier so now you have a way to connect it you can cut the rest of this off if you want the the dowel but um, but I'm not gonna worry about it that's that's what I wanted to do here um, I want two of them to make a V if you didn't already kind of realize what I was doing <laughs> so now I can make a V just like that which is actually exactly what I wanted to do pretty cool so let me turn this light off so there you can see that's how they look of course the back side that's how that looks because obviously it's very very close to the back which is why we did that because we want the front side the side that will be on camera to not have that weird LED effect so we just want this but at the same time we want it to be able to uh, provide light 360 degrees in case maybe you have a model holding it in a photo uh, in a photo shoot or something in a video shoot and you want their face to also be lit up by this effect so that's completely up to you but yeah that's basically all there is to it uh, I hope I covered everything with these LEDs there's plenty of uh, there's plenty of tutorials on how to use the app. It's basically just a LED hue app right here. It's nothing, you know, nothing special. You just control it by app. Actually, I forgot to connect, so there it is. And basically, yeah, you just control it through the app. So, pretty cool stuff. Um yeah, there's tons of effects or you can put it on auto and it'll basically just go through its stuff on its own. You can turn down the, the brightness. You can turn up the brightness. You can turn up the speed. You can turn down the speed. So there's a lot of effects that you're able to do. If you want, you can make small ones too. You can make lightsabers. You can do whatever you want. I mean, there's so much that you can do with this, and it is truly amazing. It's it's really cool. Um, so you'll be seeing these in in my future videos plenty. So yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe. That would mean so much to me. And with all that being said, I will see you in the next one. Peace.